This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Falling behind early, Afreda Wrestling rattled off six straight match wins to erase a 22-point deficit and beat Quincy 44-25. Snow hit throughout Washington on Thursday as Seattle employees prepped to work through the night. An Idaho woman gave the gift of life to a friend in need of a kidney transplant. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Falling behind early, Afreda Wrestling rattled off six straight match wins to erase a 22-point deficit and beat Quincy 44-25. The Jackrabbits jumped out to a 25-3 lead, winning the first six matches, including pins by Raul Barajas, Devin Salceda, and Tanner Wallace. Efreda's comeback started with Cole Spencer getting the pin over Ray Robinson in the 182-pound weight class. Then Tigers' Drew Anderson pulled off a 12-2 win to cut the deficit to 25-13. Back-to-back wins from Elias Guevara and Efrain Bedola put Quincy and Efreda even at 25 apiece. Benji Hernandez gave Efreda their first lead, winning 12-0 in the 106-pound weight class. Clay Johns held on to beat Daniel Cruz 14-11, and Brian Oliveira finished the comeback, pinning Miguel Ramirez in the 126-pound weight class. Efreda heads on the road on Saturday for the West Valley Wrestle-Rama, while Quincy heads to Sela December 15th. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One Sports. At around 9 o'clock tonight, when big white fluffy flakes finally fell on Seattle, we immediately saw excitement. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Like right now we are taking some pictures. That's so cute. And she was not alone. Plenty of people were snapping pictures to post, especially near the downtown Christmas tree. Uh, look at it. We have a white Christmas for the first time in a long time. We also saw these brothers doing what brothers do when it snows. It's awesome and we never get to have it. And I'm really lucky. But all that fun means more work for some. King County Metro buses chained up immediately when snow began to fall. We also saw City of Seattle salt trucks coating the streets even before the first snow. Looks like we're ready to go. Seattle Mayor Ed Murray personally showed up to thank many of the dozens of city employees who will work through the night maintaining and loading up Seattle's snow response vehicles. Luckily we got ready earlier in the week and it, it didn't turn out to be anything. We're getting ready once again. We're geared up. We'll get something. I'm not going to predict that we're, it's going to be light because you never know in our region. But it has given us a chance to figure out what to do right. It's a good day in this daycare classroom in Idaho Falls. And leading all of this fun is a woman with a simple message, to give. Very simple. And as they say to me, it's special to be able to give someone life. Because without donating, my friend wouldn't have her life. Three years ago, Laura donated a kidney to her friend TJ. I wanted her to experience being a mother, her kids' graduations and weddings and grandchildren, and I'm really glad I got to give her that. They grew up in the same neighborhood in Idaho Falls and weren't super close until they got older. And then as adults, we got to be closer friends through um, an experience we shared together over her adopting one of her children. And one day, Laura noticed TJ looked really sick. Then TJ told Laura what she needed, a kidney. Who drove up on a train wreck and could help people and save them, you would. So to me, it's, it was a train wreck for TJ. Several people have concerns or doubts on becoming an organ donor. For Laura, she said it was a simple process. It was not hard on me. I think it was harder on her, honestly. Um. And within days, Laura was back to what she calls normal, bringing smiles to kids' faces, and especially this time of year, encouraging them to give, even just a little. Snow showers off and on throughout the week. Hi, Jeff Slakey in the iFiber One Weather Center, taking a look at the basin's forecast. Mid-30s for your Monday with snow showers likely into the evening. Tuesday and Wednesday clear and cold. 34 for the high on Tuesday, 29 on Wednesday with the lows dipping into the teens. Snow showers are likely on Thursday, 30 degrees, upwards of 3 inches. Friday, 
above freezing, but still snow showers are likely. Looks clear over the weekend. For iFiber One News, I'm Jeff Slicky. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.